You, you, I mean, you mentioned Spot Mini as an example of this. Uh, is this a device that we're going to, is this going to be on the market at some point in the near future? Will I be able to buy a Spot Mini for my office? Yes. So Spot Mini is in pre-production now. We've built 10 units that's a design that's close to a manufacturable design. Uh, we built them in-house, but with help from contract manufacturer type people. We have a plan later this year to build 100 with contract manufacturers, and that's the prelude to getting them into a higher rate production, which we hope to start about the middle of next year. And we are also working with proof of concept customers, that is go to market people, who are, have applications that we're gonna use, test these robots in this year with the idea that we'll be selling them into those applications next year. I'd love to actually play the Spot Mini video that we have, because this is a good example of, I think, what can be done with the robot. And this is a, a relatively recent skill that I think you've only just shown off for the first time in the last couple of days. Yes, uh, this video uh, we posted to YouTube yesterday afternoon. You can hear, just use you your imagination of what a robot uh, would look like walking. I don't know why it's not showing. Uh, there we go. There we go. And uh, this robot is using cameras that are faced forward, backward, and to the two sides uh, in order to navigate through this space. We drove it through the space manually uh, to build the map, and it collected data, it built the map itself. And now it can travel where there's map data by localizing itself in the map. It also uses the same cameras to look for obstacles. So here it's treating the stairs not exactly as obstacles, but it can see the steps and orient itself with them. It knows it can't bump into the railings. If you look at that insert in the lower left, the brown things are things where it shouldn't go. And so the motion planning work, all the software, is taking into account where the obstacles are, where the green good places to go are, and coming up with uh, motion control, all in real time, doing the lots of uh, high performance software execution as we go. We're really expanding this part of our operation to have more people and more expertise in software perception and uh, building that part out uh, to match the uh, hardware design that we already uh, are pretty expert at. I imagine uh, the, the focus has shifted a little bit to some degree in terms of you know, developing this. I suspect this was a very expensive robot to develop, and if you're actually going to create a commercial version of it, you have to figure out how to bring the cost down. Do you have a, a specific price point in mind of how much it's going to cost me to buy a Spot Mini for my office? We're not saying what the price point is yet, but I'll tell you that this prototype, which if you just looked at it, you couldn't tell the difference from the previous one, mm -hmm. but it's about a 10 times reduction in cost. And we think we can go further, but we are trading reliability, performance, cost. There's a lot of factors in making this successful as a product, and we're working on all of those. I think one thing that you haven't really spoken to before is the idea of this robot specifically as a platform. So, you know, taking a, a PC or a mobile phone uh, as an example and applying it to this. So we've got a, there's a box on the top of the device. Right that uh, users can essentially install some sort of third-party apps on? Yeah, so the concept of Spot Mini is that it's a hardware and software platform, and the robot is flat on the top with mounting points on it where you can mount your hardware, but there's also a network connection, an API, so that your software can talk to its software, and uh, you can develop, third parties can develop applications for it. We are developing our own applications for it that we probably will use as reference designs in the early phases. So, uh, for instance, we have a surveillance package where we have special cameras, low-light cameras, that can mount on the back. There'll be a camera that goes in the arm. It didn't show an arm there. And then uh, that computer is one that's designed to take user code as opposed to the code that's running in the robot. Why don't we bring out the robot? Sure. Let's. 